I'm Celeste Davizi. I am a non-binary trans actor, and I'm playing the character of No, who's also they, them, non-binary. It's been a really, really enjoyable character to play because I've got to kind of find the most exaggerated parts of myself in them. We're the dust born. They are who I kind of want to be and also don't want to remind myself that I am sometimes. Gnome is very much like the theatrical side of everyone. It's not arrogance in Gnome's opinion, but to everyone else it's arrogant. There is such a level of spoilt brat about them, but even spoilt brats have emotions and even they can feel damaged and hurt. Gnome's superpower can be viewed negatively and can be seen as gaslighting. They're doing it out of a place of love. They're doing it out of a place of wanting to care, maybe more for themselves than anyone else. It's a very sociable power and it's very manipulative, sometimes in a good way, sometimes in a bad way. Gnome, keep her calm. Just listen to my voice. We'll be fine. Okay. And especially with their relationship with Pax, you can see how it can be negative and positive. I think Theo is very much more like a big brother figure. I think they look up to him. With Sai, it's much more on the same way in length of kind of humour and playfulness, but also like banging heads at each other. With Pax, it's the most complicated. Obviously, playing Pax, you get to decide whether or not they're right for each other. And it's nice that you get to see how that works for them and how it doesn't work and how it's a part of everyone's relationships, whether or not it is a superpower they have or it's just a lack of communication. I want players to feel it's so storyline based that I want people to feel connected to it, to emotionally actually involve themselves in it rather than thinking of winning a game. It's more like ex experiencing it and maybe finding friendship in these characters where the players might not otherwise have. Yeah.